Evening folks, something a wee bit uh, different today. Today I'm not uh, outside fishing, I'm sitting in my house, enjoying a cold beverage and watching crap TV. But, not about the crap TV. You all know I do fishing, you all know that I quite like the outdoors. Uh, I believe that every person that's going into the outdoors, be it for bushcraft, for fishing, for hunting, you need to have the correct tools for the job. There's no point going outside into the uh, the woods with a Swiss Army knife and expecting to do a lot of bushcraft with it. Not that I'm knocking Swiss Army knives. I quite like Swiss Army knives, but they have their limitations. I want to talk about knives. I like knives. I've got quite a few knives. I'm not just talking about things like uh, multi-tools, like this is a Leatherman. This is a brilliant little bit of kit. You get these for about £100. I got this one uh, given to me by an American Marine when I was in Iraq in 2003. Uh, I've had it ever since, so it's quite sentimental. But there's quite a few little blades on it. Now, incidentally, this, because it's a locked blade, it locks, it can't be bent back. To carry this in the UK, technically, it's illegal because it's a locked blade. So... Everyone knows what a Leatherman's like, but it's just kind of the uh, the craziness of the knife laws in the UK. When I'm out uh, fishing, some of you might have seen the blade that I carry when I'm fishing. Uh, the the shred blade. It's uh, it's a big. It's well, the blade itself is just under nine inches, so it's quite a big beast of a blade. Look, this is it here. This is it. In the sheath. The sheath is actually really good. Uh, you know. Okay. It rattles a little bit but you can hold it upside down and the knife doesn't come out of it uh it's quite a nice secure lock into the sheath the sheath itself i'll go through the sheath first uh multiple points where you can lash to your if you were wearing body armor you could lash it to that uh you could lash it to your back and have it scout style uh you could have it lashed upside like that so you're on one of your uh any of your molly compatible backpacks the sheath can fit there the sheath actually really good it's, it's actually quite well made for what the knife would be classed as the lower end well mid to lower end inside the back of the sheath and here there's a ceramic steel uh, it's a bit of a little two inch ceramic steel that you could use in the field to get a an edge back on your blade but it's a bit of a pain in the backside because you'd have to take the whole sheath apart to get at the the little sharpening stone. This sheath here, I've just wrapped some paracord around it just because paracord's always handy to have. But in the field, uh, I'm not going to be using the sharpener that's in the back of the sheath. I like this here. This RRP is about 30 quid. It's made by a company called WorkSharp. They're an American company. You can get this on like of eBay, Amazon, whatever website, you know, the selling websites. It has this along the top is a ceramic edge. That's a bit dirty because I used the damn thing. There's like a fishing hook side, then there's like a rough side. I'm not sure how you're going to see that because it's a bit. But they even have like a little miniature ceramic edge. So if you had serrated knives, you could get the serrated knives. The sides are these little metal plates that they come in uh, a fine one and a not so fine one. I'm not going to say course because i would say it's fine and super fine but that's just me uh, the thing i like about it is the these here can be replaced you can and it comes with like destructions and where you order from the inside but it's also it's held together with uh little magnets you know it doesn't fall out so work sharp I put a link in the description below to where i got to this this from the actual site i'm not going to put it on where to go and buy it because I'm not trying to sell you shit. This is actually pretty good. I use this. Uh, this sits in my backpack. I've actually got three of them. One of them sits in my backpack. One of them sits in my fishing bag. And one of them sits in the day sack. You know, it's just there. It also has a little leather strop, which is excellent for uh, fine honing of your blade. You would just simply rub your, your knife across your leather blade or your your leather strop 
it takes off all the fine burrs on the knife. This knife isn't uh, isn't sharp enough to shave with it, but as you can see, shaving is not really something I'm interested in. It's a knife blade that's just under nine inches. It's a drop point design. You can see that it has uh, fillers right the way through it. Or if you want to be medieval, blood grooves. Fillers, blood grooves. A filler is designed to take weight away from the blade. A blood groove is designed so if you have to do any sort of educating somebody, the muscle and the tissue doesn't clamp on the blade, which means you can pull the blade out. It creates a space where air can get into the pocket and it doesn't form like a vacuum suit. Not that knives are stabbing people, unless they really annoy you. Annoy. Like I said, nine inch long, just under nine inches for the sake of arguing nine inches. It's a got a lovely drop point design. The thin, the the back is lovely. It is a nice thick back blade. Really, 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 really good strong blade. Now in this video, you're not going to see me chucking it at walls and stabbing breeze blocks with it or batoning down trees. There's tons of those videos on YouTube. You know, just look at the YouTube, you'll find tons of the damn things. When I'm in the field and I have to use this, this knife does do all the bushcraft stuff really, really well. And not that expensive. Not that expensive. This knife here you can get from, I've seen some sites you can get it from about 80 quid. So it's not dirt cheap. We're not talking, you know, cheap crap. We're talking that's affordable, and if the worst happens and you manage to break it, hello, I'm wondering what you were doing to break a break a blade that thick. If the worst happens and you broke it, it's eighty pound. You know, okay, you'd be a bit pissed off that it's eighty quid, but it's eighty quid. You know, the handle has a feature at the top of the pommel. It's kind of like an old Gerber knife that I used to have back in the day, but I didn't like the Gerber knife because the, the handle was very uh, short. When I was going to use the handle, I was getting some like hot spots in my back of my hand because the handle seemed to be very, very short for me. Uh, I'm not an overly big guy, you know, I'm only like, you know, I'm okay, I'm six foot two and about 20 stone, but I'm not an overly, I'm not a monster, you know. But the, the handle itself is really nice there's a lot of jumping in the handle which means you can choke up your thumb if you're having to do detailed work it's uh got numerous little lashing points where if you wanted to be like a an absolute barbarian you could uh, you could lash this with the paracord that's on your that i put on there to like a big stick and then go off into the forest and Give things the good news. Don't do that. Don't do that. Anyone that's watching this video, please don't fucking come out and say that. Oh, Scove's told me to go and stick a knife in a stick and stick it in people. Don't do that. Common sense, folks. Common sense. But like I said, the sheath is very good. It's got multiple ways of attaching. Uh, nice secure snap along the top of it. You can, most of the time I just let it, let it sit in the sheath. It's not on a belt or anything like that for me. It's sitting beside most of the gear I have. Um, the sheath material is like a thermal plastic stuff. It's As you can see, it's it's flat dark earth or tan or whatever that fucking colour is. I can't describe it. The steel is a nice S40J2 stainless steel, so you're not going to have to worry about rust. The handle is uh, glass filled nylon, which is very strong. You can beat the tar out of it, it's not going to snap on you. The overall blade length is 8, or no, 7.86 inches for 19 centimeters point 96 millimeters if you're into the precise uh, measurements of the damn thing. The overall length is 13.76 inches or 34.95 centimeters. Again, it's not a really heavy knife for such a big knife but it's actually uh it does the jobs i need it to do whether it's uh cutting bait for fishing or whether it's feathering sticks for uh starting a fire you know the the spine of the knife is a it's quite a nice right angle i'm not sure how i'm going to show you this but the spine of the knife is quite sharp which is rather nice this bit here 
So if you had to strike a feral rod to uh, get your fire going, you could do that there, and it's it's all good. Uh, Shred. Shred have been making knives for a long, long time, uh, so they're pretty good at it. I think this knife is made in, uh, it's either made in America or made in Taiwan. I can't remember where it's made exactly. Uh, it's it's kind of a cross between a, a tactical knife, a survival knife, a bushcraft knife. I think they're trying to fit everything into it to try and make it as uh, as marketable as possible. The fact that the blade's just under nine inches, it's a beast of a blade. You know, if you're having to baton wood to make you kindling, you know, this is a beast. It's not quite a it's not quite unwielding and ungainly, it's not quite out of balance, it's actually quite balanced, it fits in your hand quite well. Um, I do like the pommel. I do actually like the pommel, despite I think it being like a a borrowing of Gerber. I don't know how they got the permission to do that, but the pommel's actually really good if you were in a vehicle and the vehicle was trapped or rolled over or you know, it was an accident and you had to break through the glass. You're not going to try and stab the glass, you know, unless you're a retard. You're going to hold the knife and you're going to use the pommel to strike through the glass, to, to break the glass. There's also quite a lot of jimping on the, on the inside of the handles uh, on both sides, so your grip's going to stay there. Uh, the last time I was out using this seriously, it was a uh, pissing of rain and blowing a gale at... Uh, it, it stuck in my hand. You know, there was no there's no fear of when I'm moving forward to strike that it would fly out of my hand. There's enough there's enough moulding on the uh, the handle that lets you get quite a firm grasp of the damn thing, and uh, it's not going to uh, fly out of your hand and surprise your mate standing on the street. Uh, knife law in the UK. Knife law in the UK is uh, somewhat crazy. If I was to carry this in the street, I'm getting arrested. That's it. You're getting you're getting arrested. Uh, I'm sure there's going to be uh, a few people that are more more into their bushcraft than me. Will quite happily advise that uh, you know fixed blade knives are a no no. Uh, here in the UK, we have a bit of a problem with knife crime. Uh, you know, I personally look at it like. Uh, Darwin's race to the bottom, where the uh, the simpletons and the idiots who carry blades like this here in the street because it's uh, hip and trendy, are uh, doing society a favour by shanking each other to reduce the numbers. Uh, unfortunately, in the likes of London at the minute, they're uh, kind of stabbing each other like it's the national pastime. But here's a better look at the uh, the work sharp sharpener in comparison to the size of my hand. You can see that it's not very big, uh, it doesn't weigh hardly anything, you know, it fits in the backpack, it fits in a tackle box, there's an eye hole that you can put a lanyard through it, good bit of kit, the link will be in the description. Here's a better photograph of the, uh, the knife in question. Uh, I've been using this for a long time now, I'm quite happy with it. Like I say, £80 for a fixed blade of this size is a bargain. Uh, it stood up, it's done the job, and it's not let me down so far. Here's a better look at the the handle, and especially the pommel. Like I say, it's uh, reminiscent of a Gerber one. But, uh, yeah, again, very, very useful blade, very, very useful item of kit. But, uh, yeah, if you like what you see, feel free to subscribe, give it a share or a like or whatever. Uh, if you don't like it, well then, hey, rock on.